Hello, this is Neeta from Buttercream Petals Cake Art School. Today, we are going to learn how to decorate this beautiful mini roses cake. This is perfect for Valentine's Day. Let's get started. First, we need to cover the cake with white buttercream. I am using our signature buttercream recipe here to cover the cake as well as to pipe the flowers. You can learn our signature buttercream recipe in our online school. This is an eggless buttercream recipe. Um, it's not American buttercream. I get asked this a lot. So the first tip I can give you is when you're covering the cake, try to cover it in sections and not the whole cake in one go. This gives you better control as well as a smoother side quickly. So you can see here that I am turning the uh, turntable in sections covering a section of the cake with buttercream and smoothing it in sections. This is the best way. So if there is any gaps or uh, little dents in the cake, you can quickly cover it using a palette knife with some buttercream and then we will carry on smoothing the cake in sections. Another tip is the buttercream color. So buttercream naturally has a light yellow tint to it. So if you want pure white buttercream, the best way to achieve it is, in my experience, by adding a little bit of white gel color or oil-based color. This lightens the buttercream in a nice classy way. I've seen some videos where you add a tint of purple to your buttercream and you get a whiter tone. I've tried it, but I feel like uh, this gives a bit of off-white color and not pure white color. So my preferred choice is definitely adding a little bit of white gel color or white oil-based color. I'm using color mill here. Uh, in all my uh, decorations. So we are continuing to smooth our cake in sections and I'm using a PME smoother, which is a plastic smoother, uh, which is light in weight and I feel like it gives you better control when you're smoothing the cake as opposed to a metal smoother or an acrylic one. So let's carry on smoothing our cake in sections. Smoothing the cake is probably one of the a harder skill to learn and it definitely requires practice so keep practicing to perfect smoothing the cake now we are going to smooth the top of the cake we are again using our smoother and removing any excess buttercream on top of the cake and make sure that you use your palette knife uh, to remove the excess buttercream from our smoother as well keep this going until you have a clean smooth top of the cake. I'm using a folded tissue paper here to clean the cake board. Be careful here and uh, take your time. Let's pipe the flowers now. I am using Wilton 104 petal piping nozzle. You can use any nozzle in that shape, brand doesn't matter. And I'm using some red buttercream. I've achieved this bright red color by mixing red plus a little bit of yellow plus a tint of black uh, gel color or oil based color would be fine. Let's watch how we are piping this flower, the first one. The second flower onwards, I'll give you some instructions on how to maneuver your uh, petal nozzle as well as your piping bag. So this is some dark green color which I have uh, put in a piping bag with a hole at the end. And to pipe the leaves, I am using Wilton 352 nozzle. So we start with fan shaped nozzle make sure that the wider end of the nozzle is facing downwards and the narrow end of the nozzle is facing upwards and we are going to pipe two to three petals flat onto the cake and the rest of the petals if you can see is like wrapping up the first set of petals that we already piped now we are going to add stems with green buttercream in a piping bag with a hole cut at the end and finally we are going to introduce some leaves 
when you're piping the leaves make sure that the pointy end of the nozzle is touching the cake properly so that you get a really strong uh, well structured leaf that is the only thing to bear in mind let's pipe more flowers always make sure that the wider end of the nozzle is facing downwards touching the cake ever so lightly and the narrow end of the nozzle is always facing outside this is where the uh, petals flare out and uh, make sure that when you're piping the leaves uh, the pointy side of the nozzle is always ever so lightly touching the cake not so hard because we don't want to uh, make any dents on the cake like I just did now so make sure that you touch the cake ever so lightly and if accidentally you make a dent it's okay just pipe another leaf on top to uh, cover let's buy more mini flowers all around the cake With some black buttercream and a Wilton 3 writing nozzle, I'm going to pipe tiny dots to finish off this design. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hope you will try this one as well. I would love to see your work so don't forget to tag me in socials. You can find me at Buttercream Petals. Thanks for watching and see you later. Bye!